Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Assalamu Alaikum In this video we shall study multiplication rule permutations and combinations let us start from the first one multiplication rule is a technique with the help of which we can find the sample size of an experiment if there are total r components in an experiment and we know the outcomes of each component then we can find the sample size by using this formula in other words if we know that the outcomes of the first component are n1 the outcomes of the second component are n2 third or n3 and of the rth component there are total n r outcomes then all the possible outcomes in the sample space of this experiment is given by this formula n of s is equal to n1 n2 n2 up to n r let us explain it by an example find all possible outcomes of an experiment in which one coin and one die are tossed or rolled simultaneously in this experiment there are two components one is coin the other is die and we know that all possible outcomes of a coin are two and all possible outcomes of a die or six therefore n of s is equal to n1 n2 n2 which is equal to 2 n2 six so there are total 12 possible outcomes in the sample space of this experiment let us see another example find the size of the sample space of an experiment in which three coins and two dice are rolled simultaneously here in this experiment there are three coins and two dice so there are total five components and we know that the outcomes of the first coin they are two of the second coin are two of the third coin are two and the outcomes of the first die they are six the outcomes of the second die they are six the sample space of this experiment is equal to n1 n2 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 n3 n2 n4 n2 n5 just substituting the values and multiplying we get 252 so in the sample space of this experiment there will be 252 possible outcomes permutation is an ordered arrangement of elements in a row here order matters in permutation the order is important if we change the order we get a new permutation let us see its proper definition if there are total n components or elements in a group from which we select r elements without replacement then the permutation is denoted by npr and this is equal to n factorial over n minus r factorial here note that if we have any two components one is a the other is b then a b and b a are two different permutations because if we change the order we will get a new permutation in other words there is another thing which is called combinations and in combinations the order do not change so an unordered arrangement of elements in a row is called combination if there are total n elements in a group from which we select r components without replacement then the combination is denoted by ncr or by this symbol and mathematically ncr is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r factorial here note that 
in combination. Order does not matter, which means if we have any two components, one is A, the other is B, then AB and BA are not different combinations. AB and BA are same. Let us explain it by an example. There are 10 students in a class. How many ways are there to form a five members committee for, for the class in which one is chairperson, one is vice chairperson, one is secretary, one is vice secretary, and one is treasurer. Now here you can see total students are 10. So N is 10. And we are selecting five, so R is five. But order is important because everyone has a special position. If you make a chairperson as a treasurer or treasurer as a chairperson, you will get a different committee. So order matters. That is why we can use permutation here, which is given by this formula, N is 10, R is 5. So just simplifying this, we get 10,240 total possible ways. Let us see another example. There are 10 students in a class. How many ways are there to form a five members committee for the class? Here again, N is 10 and R is five. So we are making a committee of five members, but there is no order. Order is not important here. Just make a committee of any five students. Since order is not important, so we will obtain the number of ways by combination. Using this formula, 10 C five, which is equal to 10 factorial, 10 minus five factorial into five factorial, we have 252. So there are total 252 ways to find such type of a committee. Let us see another example. There are 10 students in a class. How many ways are there to form a five members committee in which one is chairperson, one is secretary, and one is treasurer? Now in this question, you can see again, N is 10 and R is five, but here for the first three, the order matters because for the first three, one must be chairperson, secretary and treasurer. If you make a chairperson as secretary or secretary as a chairperson, then it will matters. But for the other two, the order does not matter. That is why here we shall use permutation for the first three, 10 P3. From here, because the order matters, we have 720. And any, we can take the remaining two students for which the order is not important. So we use combination. 7C2 and we get 21. So total are three plus two, they are five. Now we can use the multiplication rule. According to that rule, we can find number of always, which are permutation with repetition. If there are N components of an experiment, in these N components, some components will be of the same kind. So that is why we say that if in these N components, in one are of the same first kind, in two are of the same second kind, and up to in R are of the same Rth kind, the sum of these must be equal to N, then number of permutations can be obtained by using this formula. Let us explain it by solving an example. 
how many different permutations can be made from the letters of the word infinity? First of all, let us count all the letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So N is eight here. Now we can see there are three I's. One, two, three. So N1 is equal to three, which means that there are three I's and they are of the same kind. There are two N, one, two. So N2 is equal to two, which means there are two N and they are of the same kind. Similarly, there is one F and one is N3 is equal to one. There is one T and four is equal to one. There is one Y and five is equal to one. So number of permutations can be obtained by using this formula. Just substitute values and simplify and you will get the solution. That's all.